nothing evolves at this level in the real world. People don't write code this way. People don't improve messages this way. People don't improve advertising. People don't improve anything this way. They improve it by, by, by strategically rearranging the elements of, you know, whether it's the iPod or modern jazz or anything that you want to talk about. The evolution is top down. It's not bottom up. So is there, okay, so in this, in this scheme, I mean, in the real world, DOS, uh, quote unquote evolving and to the point now where we have Vista or whatever and um, other directions of evolution getting us to the iPod or whatever. That was all through adaptation right. based upon feedback and results and yes. through yes. an economic system and all that. Phone That's calls. Play there, right? Customers complaining yeah, and all, all that. that stuff. Right. right. Um, okay, so this DOS example, there was adaptation and innovation over years. Yeah. Right. Yeah, some of them and, were like little improvements, and some of them were, hey, web browser, yeah. hey, internet connectivity. I'm old enough to remember yeah. a lot of that, personally. Right. <laughs> right. People are. Yeah, right. It didn't happen all that long ago. <laughs> no, in, my, right. in my years. Uh, but so evolution has that concept also. Yes. Now, in the, in, the exam, you know, in the idea that you're proposing as a metaphor where DOS you know, what if they had programmed into it all at the beginning? Is there right. an adaptation in that concept too? Yes. How and does that and, work? and I, some of it is adaptation. Some of it is the protozoa gets moved from salt water to fresh water, and now it's got to totally change its metabolism and maybe all kinds of things. And guess what? It does. It adapts to the new environment. But then there's, you know, some things. You know, you, you, you have the, the microorganisms and it evolves into trilobites, which, you know, eventually you have mammals. Well, you know, the mammals have a bunch of features that the other stuff doesn't have, even though pretty much all of it is built on the same chassis. Yeah. Like there's, there's an extreme similarity of, you know, there's, there, there's a heart and there's a liver and there's a stomach and, you know, whether you're talking about insects or whether you're talking about human beings, they're, but but they have these different things. But the 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 big big mega question in biology is how does this program work? That's the question. We got to get rid of this random mutation stuff because it's not random. There is a huge huge set of discoveries waiting in this question. And there's only a very few people working on it. It's, and Shapiro is one of them. Shapiro is one of them. And his okay. papers are brilliant. And they're not very hard to read. Mm -hmm. And he talks about how the genome, the genome isn't like, you know, it's not like a CD with data on it. It's like an operating system. And it cleans up files. And it, it adjusts for things. And it, it makes adaptations. And it corrects errors and it preserves itself. Mm -hmm. So there's some kind of will. 